Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Matter shirt on. Why do you why do you think that he pulled that out in the scriptures? Give me Hosea's three and four. Watch this. I'm gonna cover a couple things because in order for black lives to matter, black lives need to start mattering to black people. That's right. You understand? So we out here to teach the laws of God. Read that. Right. So read that real quick. Hosea chapter three and verse four. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice and without an image. That's talking about the image of Christ because we've been here in America a long time. We down here in the last days. Now y'all are really hearing and getting to understand that Christ is black. That's a prophecy. Right, right, right. So why does it matter? Give me because with the laws of God have changed our mind. Give me Proverbs 3 and 29. Watch this. This is why we out here because black lives that's not helping us. That's actually a movement started by a white man oh, go, named George Soros. That's a, 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 a counterfeit movement that was created to co-op any sort of grassroots movement like it was the original grassroots in the civil rights. That's a total satanic white man that financed that organization. That's why I thought, but lesbians and LGBT in there. Read that. Proverbs 3 and 29. Divide not evil against thy neighbor. What? Devise not evil against thy neighbor. So what do we got in the black community? It's called what? What on what crime? Black on black on Read it again. Devise not evil against thy neighbor. Seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Meaning what? Because that's my brother. He's supposed to be in peace by me. We the same people. But guess what? We came over here on the same slave ships. We got all Democrat, Republican, Catholic, Protestant, Jehovah's Witness, all this other stuff. But 400 years ago, we was all shackled at the bottom of the same boat. Right. That's why, go back to Hosea 4 and 6. This way you got to stand. Like, when we'll hear, we'll hear us, y'all to hear us read Revelations 1, and we don't understand how powerful it is. Read that again. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we lack knowledge, meaning what? Get the knowledge for them. Give me that Malachi 2 and 7, and then go back to Hosea, and I want you to read 3 
and four after that. Malachi 2 and 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So remember, God said his people, the children of Israel, are destroyed because they lack knowledge. Right. We might think this is talking about science, political science, like and all this other. Let's see what the knowledge is, read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. We just read a law earlier. Devise not evil against thy neighbor. That's a law of God. Now go back to Hosea 3 and 4. Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, uh -huh. and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image. It says without a sacrifice because you're looking at the white image of Christ. When in history has a white man laid down his life for black people? Bring it out. That's why I said without a, a sacrifice because you thinking that Christ is white. You looking at that picture in church. Like what this dude got to do with me? That's why I said we would abide many days because our images was taken from us. Give me that Maccabees 148, man. Watch this. We got to understand. We'll, we read the scripture all the time, but we got to understand how important this scripture is. Because if I see Christ in you, sis, I'm not going to treat you a certain way. I'm going to go to the scriptures and let you know. We're going to pull out some laws dealing with the system. Read that real quick. First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, uh -huh. wherein the heathen. This is talking about the white man. The heathen is doing the Greeks. We all know the Greeks are the white folk. They said, wherein the heathen did what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Since you heard that? Yeah. But look though, no. they'll, they'll give you some, they'll give you a shirt, the white man will give you a shirt that say Black Lives Matter. Meanwhile, he took your biblical records and whitewashed all the photos. Right. Could you imagine a white man breaking in your house and painting all your family, you know your Polaroid pictures, he just painted all the faces on there white. That's what he did. It became normal hundreds of years later. We've accepted that. No, that's not, that's not the way to go. So now, under that law that the white man is Jesus, it created a whole bunch of fools. Let's give me through Ronnie 22 and 5. What's your question, brother? Um, well, I, I, I know that, you know, a lot of the stuff been whitewashed and rewritten and stuff like that. Well, it ain't been rewritten. We just couldn't read. Understand, we couldn't okay. read for okay. a long time. Right. Jesus, right. This, this Bible, this Bible not been go back, right, we couldn't read. Because think about it. We'll, we'll say that, then we'll ask, have you read the scripture? No. But here's the thing. What's that saying? If you want to hide something from a black man, where you put, put it? it in the book. Right. So the hell, why would they need to rewrite something and change something if Negroes wouldn't read? not read it anyway. That, right. that don't even make no damn it sense. Make no sense. It, it was make. illegal for you to read. Then we was given the opportunity to read. Both of us don't read. Right. So why would he have to readjust the sentences or whatever right. if Negroes don't read? Right. Read that. True. True. Deuteronomy 22 okay. verse 5. The woman... So this is what it says, because I'm the white Christ tell you to do whatever you want to do, read. So this is a law dealing with the women. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What are women's garments? What is that? What is a woman's clothes? Right. So what are men known for wearing? Right, so the Bible is telling us it's no cross-dressing. That's confusing. Yeah, that's right. Think about when you go out, if you go out to the jungle or the, or the plains of Africa and you see a, a lion, how do you know the male lion from a female lion? You can't. Because he got hair. He got what? He got, he got, got a mane. Right. So God is always about order. Uh -huh. That's why he tells the men to grow the beards. He tells the women to wear their dress. Because if, if you went over to China, you all don't speak Cantonese. How would you know what restroom to go to? What would you? Uh, you would know? Get the sign. Watch this. Where's your backpack? Watch this. Hang it up. Yeah, take the post. Watch this. Because we say we don't know. We know the universal sign for men and women. So here we go. We got something for y'all. We got to use visual cues. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. So, I mean, imagine if they both had pants on. Which bathroom would you go into? Well, no. Right. Right. So these are basic things that we must get back to. Give me First Kings. Because in order to, re the Bible tells you to return and repent. I'm going to give you a perfect example. It, the Bible says return. I don't know you. Can I return to your house? Why can't I return there? No, but I, because what? I don't know. I've never been there. You understand what I'm saying? How can I return to something if I was never a part of it? Right. Comments. Well, that's why I'll give me Nehemiah 8 and 8 first. 
But this is our job when we come out here, we commanded to make the Bible plain. You'll read, repent, return, and we don't have a clue what it's talking about. If you send out a letter to somebody and it's the wrong address, they're going to say return to sender. How are they going to know where to send it back? Because your address is on there. That's right. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 8. So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly uh -huh. and gave the sense. So it's our job to go into the scriptures and read it clearly and give you all the sense of what it's saying. Understand. This prophesied on the last days was gonna happen. That's right. So now we read that women shouldn't be wearing pants. Right. So what much if you love God, what should you do? Change from wearing a woman. Right, the right. Woman. Exactly. That's what God ordained for the Israelites. Because the white man told you all y'all can wear what y'all want. When you think about in the in the sixties and prior to that, you never seen your grandma or her mother or her mother in pants. That's a new thing on the earth. We got it on the sign here. Doing slavery, pig and cotton down there. That's a new thing. That, that was actually an, introduced by Amelia Bloomer in the 1850s. Women started, white women started wearing pants and masks in the 40s because they had to work in the factories during World War II. But they introduced the pants in the black community under the feminist movement. But aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, so the first thing that the Bible tells the, 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 our sister to do, stop gossiping. Yeah. Stop gossiping. Turn off Wendy Williams. Right. Right. Turn off the Atlanta Housewives. Right. Right. What else do they watch? Who else out there with gossip? Turn off, yeah. Turn off uh, uh, the Breakfast Club. Right. Right. Who? Right. All that. Turn that off. Right. Read. That the age woman. Likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness, uh -huh. not false accusers, not given to much wine. So another thing, a lot of our sisters, especially the older sisters, like drinking and getting drunk. We know that, sister. We see the black man, sister. That's why we got to bring it up. Understand that. Read it again. Not given to much wine. Read. Teachers of good things. So in order to be a teacher of good things, you all have to be taught the good things out of the Bible. Right. That's what we out here to do. Read. Right. That right. they may that teach. They that they may teach the young women. So it's your job because think about it. How do you teach? You teach by you teach by what you do and wh what you do and what you say. That's right. So if the young sisters see y'all wearing pants, tight clothing, turning up, they hear y'all gossiping. They gonna do the same thing. Right. Understand that they gonna do. Give me Ezekiel 16:44. Hold that. Give me Ezekiel 16:44 because that's a promise. Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 44. Bring it out. Behold, everyone that uses a proverb shall use this proverb against thee. Let's talk about our sisters. Listen to this proverb. Saying, as is the mother, so is her daughter. What? As is the mother, so is her daughter. Your Sunday Baptist church, your Sunday church church, whether you Baptist, AME, is all garbage. They are not teaching the laws of God, and if you sit in there when Christ turn, you're getting put to death. Read that. First Corinthians 11 verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Since you got a question? I'm reading out the Bible. Christianity is fake. Women in pants don't match with the Bible. First Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me. Hold on, hold on. What are you saying, sis? We can have a simple conversation, sis. Yeah, come around here, sis. Let's have a simple We 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 brothers and sisters. We're gonna have a simple conversation. So you talking about Atlanta Housewives and all right. of that. Y'all right. have nothing to do with it. Because everybody's saying I'm quite sure you the disrespect. Right. You crossed but we over. Teach, right, I did, but we teach repentance though, sis. Of course. Oh, right. see, I so, didn't know. But, but sis, that's the whole job. Think about it. You go to church every Sunday? Not every Sunday, but I do try to make it there. Right, so I, Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show you something. Because the job, hold on, sis, this is love. Okay. What, what we, give me first John, give I didn't like it. I was like, I don't like what he's saying. Here's so. the thing. This is the problem with our and people. And I'm a, I'm a Baptist. Right, listen. This, this is the problem with our people. We always, we always go off our emotions. Think about it. I'm going to just go down to a base level with the politics. When you look at Joe Biden's policies, he's the one that signed the crime bill that got most brothers locked up. Right. But the I, black person say, well, I like Biden. I don't like the other guy. Right. So they're going to vote for the guy because they like him. Right. Our people come in and say, 
I don't like what you're saying, but liking is subjection. It's not factual. We got to stop voting and, and making decisions off our emotions. Then we got to stop that. We got to vote. We got to vote for Christ. Your opinion is your opinion. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going on my opinion. Read that. Oh, you want to talk about Bible? That's your Bible, though. That's the same Bible you got. This is King James Bible. Read that. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So we're out here teaching the true love of God, the commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible commands us not to cross dress. Listen, can I say something real fast? People break sin every day. We understand that, but so guess what? That nobody, means that you stay in but sin. But nobody right. can judge nobody in sin. That's not true. Give me First Corinthians 2 and 15. I'm out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. Nobody can judge nobody. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. We understand. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. I know. The bus says, read this. But a lot of Muslims are gay. I done fucked a lot of Aki's, and I'm a tranny. Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. You said what? The wicked flee when no man pursue it. Uh -huh. But the righteous are bold as a lion. So guess what? The Bible tells men not to be abominations cross-dressed. We got all these transgenders out here. They gonna get put to death. Read that again. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. But the righteous are bold as a lion. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Meaning what? We didn't run that brother off. That brother ran off because of what? That brother's in wickedness. You understand that? You were born a man. Give me Ecclesiastes 7.29. Obama made it cool for the Negro to switch to think that he a woman. Read that. The book of Ecclesiastes 7 verse 29. Lo, this only have I found that God hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Right, one invention is cutting off your genitalia talking about I'm a tranny. No, you still a, you still a man. If you put lipstick on a pig, that don't make it not a pig no more. Understand that thing. We got all these. But anyway, what you believe in my brother? What you believe in? Okay, Christianity. So now, you go to church on Sunday? Okay, so what does the Bible say? What day are we commanded to have a holy convocation according to the Bible? What day are we supposed to gather according to the Bible? Is it supposed to be Sunday or what day of the week are we supposed to gather at, at church or an assembly? What day are we commanded? It, let's read that. Let's see. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 3. One, two, and three. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. So it's nothing wrong if you want to go to church every day of the week. There's nothing wrong with that. But the seventh day of the week, which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, we're commanded to go. Read it again. Verse 3. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts. That's it. Brother, you got a question back there, my brother? Okay. Sunday, if you pull out your, your phone on the calendar, Sunday is the first day of the week. You got to think about it. We was taught Christianity, Baptist, Pentecostal, all that in slavery. All that is like when you write, when you read the scriptures, what does it tell you to celebrate Christmas in the Bible? Right, it doesn't. It tells you not to keep that custom. Give me that in Jeremiah 10. Then we're gonna go back to 1 Corinthians. Watch this. Because in Christianity you celebrate Christmas. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. So now we're talking about a, a vain or bad custom. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. So what holiday do we got today where somebody cuts a tree out the forest, 
They bring it back to their house and they decorate it with silver and gold. What do we call that today? Okay, read it. Go back to verse 2. Verse 2. Learn not, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So the Bible tells us not to keep that. That's a, that's a satanic custom. That's actually paying homage to Nimrod. Right. This was during the time. Babylon, Jer uh, Christ was nowhere near on the scene at this time. Right, that's all it is, is paganism. So go to 1 Corinthians uh, 11. We got something for you, brothers. We got to teach you the laws of God. What church you go to, my brother? Right, so they not teach you the laws of God. Read that. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So this is the order that's coming up. You got Christ, then you got man. Keep that in mind. So who's above man? Okay, read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Who's the head of man? Right, so it said, every man praying or prophesying, so if you praying or you hear the scriptures coming out with your head covered, you dishonor your head, which is Christ. So in order to pay respect for Christ, what you should do with that hat, my brother? Right, all praises. So what you gonna do, my brother? I'm gonna keep it on. Alright, give me that a loop. That's, that's my choice, though. But yeah, we understand every everybody, better, every, everybody got a choice. Give me Deuteronomy 30 and 15. Watch this. Everybody got a choice. My man took his hat off. All praises, brother. All praise. We're going to get the scripture. Matter of fact, get that in Luke. Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Uh -huh. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. So the everybody's got an angel that reports what they're doing. This brother humbled down to the scripture, removed his hat. His angels are rejoicing. You said Christ is your Lord, right? Okay. Matter of fact, read verse 46 first. Watch this. Luke 6 and 46. Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? How you gonna call Christ your Lord and you said you 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 constantly choose not to remove your hand? Christ told you because who who taught Paul? Well, let me let me just say one thing. I was born in sin. So that Brother, that, I don't even know what that means. I'm not gonna do everything that I should do, you know, to just right, so give, me, time, give me James time, 4 and 17. Give me James 4 and 17. Okay, I just learned that. Right, but yeah. let me say. But, so that but, doesn't mean that I should do it. Maybe yes, it does. We're going to get some. But maybe, that's maybe what you said. But we got to remember. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. We, we got to stop going off our emotions. You know, it ain't about what I think, what you think, what you feel, or what I feel. Be that. James 4 17. James 4 and verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. So to do good was taking off your hat and paying respect to Christ when the laws come out. And doeth it not. So her brother does not do it. To him it is sin. To what? To him it is sin. So brother, you put yourself in willful sin. Because you was given the correct way. Now give it in Hebrews chapter 10. You know what I want? Hebrews 10 and 26. Something like that. Yeah. Y'all brother's got the sharp memories. Hebrews 10 verse 26. For if we sin willfully. So we willfully sin it. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Meaning the, the correct teaching of the law. There remain of no more sacrifice for sin. Meaning like Christ never died for you. Because I can't know the law and the, the scriptures say thou should not commit adultery. And I keep cheating on my wife and go, I was born in the sin. Right. What does that mean? Think about it like this. Say if you, you broke the law of the land, you stole a vehicle. Right. And you stand it before the judge, and the judge says five years. And then, what, what, would the judge change his mind? If you said, Judge, I was born in the crime. No. What would he do? Still get you the fine. There you go. Right. So why do you? Why do we think that that's gonna? Why do we think that's different application when it comes to God? Right. You understand what I'm saying? We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. 
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.